Hey, how's it guys? It's Alan here. Let's see back here more with Gco. So, in last episode, we have the Kawakami War, and um, yeah, it seems like me Yamato finally won after like an hour episode, and somewhat gained respect to Chris. So our friends are coming a bit closer together. So, without further ado, let's get off the show and see what we can do. Huh? Ugh. Where am I? When they finally regained consciousness, everyone was eating lunch together. You're finally awake. You slept about two hours. Right, I... Miyaku must have rested my head on her lap. Oh, I so feel faint. I bought some medicine for you. Why are you putting the medicine in your mouth? From mouth to mouth. <laughs> you put the real one in your other hand. Ah, uh, you noticed. How so close. You just looked that way. Come on, Curie. Give us your phone number already. Sure. A moment, please. Okay, I am sending it, sending it now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. No problem here either. <laughs> Curie's email address had Edo in it. <laughs> I used the name of the shogun. That's not something to be proud of. I'm not getting it. Can you come closer? Here, let me try again. Wait, I've got it. But I'm not. Well, I see no problem with you not knowing it. Are you kidding me? You're making me, Kaguto, the only man out? Women are too scary. I'm starting to think about going for men might be a good idea. Hey Chris, tell Kaguto your number before he goes on a rampage. One last time, go. It's mine. Women rock. But, Matsukazi, why is this number sharing thing? Well, Mayuchi, how did you get into this, into this academy without even knowing that? That's depressing. Mayu Mayu, let's buy you a cell phone on the way back. Huh? How are we supposed to get hold of you otherwise? When I call with the gang, you gotta we gotta make sure you show up. Don't worry, the cheap phones are dirt cheap. Yep, I mean there's a monthly bill, but as long as you don't rack up minutes, you'll be fine. I think I would too accompany you to the store, Miyuchi. Everyone, I, I... I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Mr. Kazu will finally get to fill his role as a cell phone strap. Huh? You didn't say anything. So happy. Bring has come to my heart. Looks like, looks like our Vanjetaquist is too happy to do her act. Everyone left. She's fitting in smoothly. 
We're gonna give him Wonka whistles later. You still look rather pale. The medicine should kick in soon. For the time being, maybe you shouldn't move around too much. Okay. Chris wasn't as stern as she had been. And Mewtwo was giving her opinions. Then they were truly members of our group. Wait, what is left to do is entrust you two with the soul of Kawakami. Soul of Kawakami? It's a poem that goes like this. I walked the endless wilds before me, turning away from the glow of the city. There were no miracles, no path to guide me, only the night. But my unwavering will shall provide as I journey onto, the, onto into the darkness. This is the soul of Kawakami. It's a manly poem about venturing into the unknown. He even moves girls like me. I wish it wasn't so long. Keep pushing forward is what we say for short. Keep pushing forward. To continue forth even in the face of adversity then. An excellent saying, one rich with the will to advance. When things get tough, say it. You got friends with, oh, friends along with you on the journey. That will give you strength. Keep those words forever in your heart. There's nothing else you can say, nothing else to say. Hey, Yamato and Miyako are here. Let's have a toast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Everyone, drink some water. Nice idea. Everyone, grab a drink. Hola, Yamato. You want oolong tea? Here, Yamato. You want oolong tea, right? Yeah, Miyako. You'll be having some too. Yamato to pea oolong. Yeah. I want my drink to match me at Yamato's. Mayuchi, we're having a toast. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I was so happy I stopped paying attention. Everyone got the message, Cap. Um, it's reached the time of year when the young leaves, leaves bless us with their scent. That's too formal. What are you? An elementary school principal? Fine, fine. Then I'll keep it concise. Let's have fun. That's all we need. Cheers. 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 Just everyone saying cheers. We think that clinked our nine glasses together and so gave birth to the new Kazama family. We decided to spend the afternoon sightseeing. We took a boat across Lake Ashi. This was great. Wonka was having the time of her life at the boat. It's awesome up, he up here at the front. Wind blowing through my hair like an explorer of old. The boat continued to the heart of the lake. I love how they designed it to look like a pirate ship. Did anyone fire the cannons at the little boats behind us? Then there's no actual weapons on the ship, right? Nah, no, there's not. 
Any matter? Are you feeling well enough to stand out in the wind? Yeah, the medicine's really helping. Oh, I think there's another pirate ship coming towards us. That's the ship coming from the other side. Wonka waved her hand energetically. And someone on the other ship waved back. There's someone like her in every group. They look like a group of four college friends. We can see the opposite shore now. We're there already. That's boring. I believe you can tour the check. You can you can tour the checkpoint. I cannot wait. Wow, that's some refined taste you got there. There's nothing wrong with that. I want to see it too. What the heck? You finish your match, and now you think you can just agree about things? No fair. <laughs> but it's great that they're getting along. So you know, Chris. Hmm? Do you accept Wonko for who she is? Huh? Yes. Well, I accept you too, so I guess that's that. Earlier, you accept the new Mato too. Right. Well, but me, your captain. Mm. I suppose. Hey, that didn't sound right. Okay then, you have a match with me too. I'll make you accept me. No, there is no need. I accept you. Then why do you sound some mono stone? I don't, can't stand this. Fight me, damn it! Cap charged at Chris. What are you doing? You hit him with a sideways elbow strike. Oh, she knocked him up. He's going for the air combo. Your rudeness knows no bounds. You charged him with a shoulder. Uh, why do you have to tackle him into the distance? I'm the captain. Our leader plummeted into the lake. Amazing. Everybody's watching him. Good grief. This really shouldn't be a laughing matter. Hmm. The breeze really is nice. One of our friends is in the lake, and that's how you react? She was Nissan's sister, alright? Even if they weren't related by blood. In the guest room. Why did the ship stop? Apparently her boy wearing a bandana fell into the lake. Huh? If, he, if he's wearing a bandana, could it be? I can't think of anyone else. There he goes, dragging everyone into his, into his messes again. Just that cool and pretend you didn't notice. That's the clever thing to do. By 4pm, we had already finished our sightseeing. We decided to go down to the bus stop and wait for a ride. <sighs> Ah, uh, man, first you must have dives into the river, and I get shot into the lake. Thank goodness you got off only with a scolding. Chris, you gotta learn the hold back. Apologies, I just gonna help myself when they are hanging in the air in front of me. It's in your nature to rack up damage when you can. Maybe you should focus more on how Cap attacked her out of the blue. The bus should be here soon. Nice going managing our schedule, Yamato. When the trip home goes smoothly, you can spend the time thinking back all on all the fun you had. Hello, you over there. 
The one shining with such brilliant light. Someone called out from, to us but from behind. You must mean me. They're not you. The one with the bandana. There was an odd fortune teller by the side of the road. Me? Oh. You have, a you have a wonderful semblance. You are charming. Not as a man, but as a person. And most of all, you're blessed with the devil's own look. <laughs> oh, you're trying to flatter me to get my money? Fortune telling is what puts bread on my table, yes. What do you say? You let me tell you your future? Sorry, but I'm not forking over any cash. Our bus is coming soon, I'm sorry. I see. Now do it for free. That's how intriguing I find your semblance. Then we will do it. Oh, I already know a cup had look the water. The, sec the second you learn it's free, there you go again. We told you your fortune teller our names. I use tarot cards in my craft. Oh, the bus is here. We have to go. I pity. I nearly had the results. The cards can reveal different images depending on the person. In the same way, that no two semblance are the same. The old man kept flipping the tarot cards. Oh, the issue has brilliant future in store. Sorry to hear it. Um, good to hear it. Sorry to dash off before you were done, but bye. We all began boarding the bus. Thank you very much. Hmm. This one will overcome her trials. The old man continued to flip more cards. I was the last one to get on the bus. Then this would be the final card. Huh? 9 minus 1. One of you will be drawn away. Yet the world reveals itself to be... Represent... Represent your group. Then not all is lost. Hey Yamato, get on the bus already. I'm coming. Sorry, I've got to go. The door shut behind me. You must listen. One amongst you will be... You can use to speak, but I can no longer hear him over the bus's engine. You cannot leave that person alone. That's disaster come to pass. Huh? Who's the one who can't leave? Nothing he was saying made any sense. But soon, he vanished from sight. There you go. We must pray to remain close, that they manage to overcome their trials. This will be the hour of destiny, Mrs. Mark, leaving my fortune to seem like nothing more than the abhorred ramblings of a roadside char charlatan. Late that night at the Shimazu dawn, we're home. Oh. Yo. Welcome back, Master. We had a bit of an adventure, maybe we could knock into the lake. Well, I dove into the river and caught a cold. You guys never have normal trips. But it was fun. Truly. The trip doesn't end until the back of my room. She walked off briskly. Oh, Chris. Mind if I call you Chris? What is it, Minamoto Dono? Don't know. That doesn't feel right. Anyways, there's a package for you. Here. It's a Masan. What could it be? Whatever it is, it's yours now. So, Neo, where's my souvenir? It's standing right in front of you. Oh, you call me your punching bag. I'm kidding. I'll bring it to your room later, so you can pay for some snacks. Don't get cocky. I left the hook this time, but next time you're dead. Guess I'll at least be nice enough to ask if you'd rather have Jap Japanese or Western snacks. 
Something Western, please. To Meester, what's my souvenir? A tapes tree, signed by me. How can you give me something that tasteless? You could have bought me anything from Hakun. Two, are you making fun of me? It's indiscretion must be punished. What the heck are you transforming now? Stop. No, my master. There is one order I cannot obey. Now the hour of your punishment is at hand. Cookie chase after Cap. Who? Hermie, Crabber, how are you doing? I confirmed that they were all, both alright. I never doubted you, Jen san. The room was cleaner when I left. Ah, yeah, I cleaned it. But then having a cockroach infection because you can't keep your shit clean. So what's up with the tray full of cake and tea? Cake. The cake? I got stuck with another one. It's so big for me to finish by myself. Share it with the girls upstairs. It probably tastes fine. That's really thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. I made a call. Hey Miyako, I'm bringing cake up. Grant me permission to head to head upstairs. I wonder what Marsan sent me. <laughs> my, my goodness. I've been looking everywhere for this stuffed animal. And it's a real one. I'm sure of it. This must be an apology for the trouble she caused us. Yet now I feel indebted. It is so cute. I just want to squeeze and hold you all night. She happily flapped her legs. Hmm? Uh, a pork cake? <laughs> How do I put this? I didn't mean to see that. I did knock. He didn't reply. But I heard your voice, so... Yamato. Her face turned redder by the second. Do you room it. Just. Too. Weird. <laughs> I've been in Japanese culture and stuffed animals. I'm sorry, but uh... Mind if I laugh? I do mind. Do not laugh. All I did was hug my teddy but Your teddy bear? I burst out laughing. Nawe Yamato. C come on, calm down. Your teddy bears are watching. I certainly may have accepted you as a man. I still can understand the aspect of your personality. Time to fix it. Here's your punishment. Ouch. I can't help myself. You're just too funny. <laughs> you have any idea how rude you are being? It hurts, Teddy. <laughs> what is with you? They kept stomping me for a good minute. <laughs> So, we're back to where we started. Man, I'm all beat up, but it was worth it to see something that funny. I was glad Chris had joined our group. Miyuchi was doing the best too. As I relax alone, simply watching the hermit crabs. I, occas I occasionally received a call from one of the people I knew. I made sure to answer, to deepen my relations, to build up those connections. How- hey! I don't know how to say that one. Yo, how you doing, Yamato Chan? I'm doing good. What's up? Hey, he was a friend I'd met online. He had a boatload of stories about the many women he had wooed. He was so mature that I could hardly believe we were the same age. 
conversations with people like him could be shocking sometimes. So you matter, Chan. You finally done it? It's high time you got yourself a girl. I still haven't found the one. Though I've met several more. Ah, ch still? Come on, you master Chan. You gotta do better. Go and get s get some. Go and get some. Summer's coming. Summer. How are things with you? Could be better. I got myself three bitches. And you got someone who seems like a girlfriend material. But I do have a few in mind. You gotta start narrowing down from there. He hung up. A girlfriend, huh? Several girls came to mind. Now the sister, a legendary warrior, Kawakami Mamoyo. Our super pep peppy mascot, Kawakami Kazuko. An ice queen who already gave her heart to me, Shina Miyako. A timid yet kind and homely girl, Mezumi Yuki. The summon transfer student with a funny side. I can't believe it. They're all samurai girls. Every one of them was dripping with indivi individuality. And they're also dear friends. If things were to advance to the next level, it would take a lot of effort. Well, maybe with one exception. Additionally, Ogazawa san and Amuka san, two of my classmates, were of interest. And of course, Misumi was beautiful. As my teacher, she was out of reach. Let's really take things at my own pace. The nine of us were having plenty of fun right now. We we're so close, I could imagine us staying together forever. Could some romance blossom in the end? Whatever happened next, life was going to have one crazy turn after another. At the Kawasami City Industrial District. Here at the entrance of that under uncoff part of the city, construction crews were hard at work building a 12 story retrodirectional facility. Once complete, people would be able to come here to watch movies, sing karaoke, play games and darts, and even watch live performances. There are even restaurants and bars in this youth paradise. It's finally all coming together. Yeah, it's opening in the fall. That gives us plenty of time for the finishing touches. Kids these days are sure lucky getting places like this to hang out. You think? I figured I'd more playing, I had more fun playing by the river than it would be in here. You're not wrong. All the same, this place has got one distinctive name. Child's Palace. It's got a cute name, but the place looks doesn't look cute at all. There's no love in it. It even looks creepy if you ask me. And this is a child's palace? Oh, boys and girls of Kawakami City. People have come here, threatening to corrode your world. You do not yet know it. But when you find out, you will surely stand and fight. Okay. Fight as the ancient samurai did, what you hold to be true. Alright, so we have to select the character now. For what? I'm home. Now then, I should start calling my contacts. Today I'll focus on building up my connections. With these things, it's the daily efforts that really counts. Huh? Things would be so much easier if everyone started loving me overnight. But life didn't work out like that. I continue to exchange information with these acquaintances until late into the, into the night. Okay. Oh, so we actually have to start making the go getting the girlfriend then, based on the last conversation. Let's go with Miyako. <laughs> she tried so hard this whole game. A girl told me that she loved me. Knowing someone loves you can be a wonderful thing, but I love you, Yamato. Thanks, Miyako. You know I'm not wearing anything after finishing my bath, right? That was the plan. I wanted to see you naked. Get out! I filled with a towel, but I was tired of her doing this. Stop standing around and get to your room. 
両胸のスイッチを押してもしくは股に一つスイッチがあるか If you press my button, I'll move. 殺されたら私は暴走すると言わざるを得ない。It saves through my breasts. There's also one between my legs. If you push that, who knows what will happen? I flick the forehead instead. Ah, <laughs> Ow, meanie. Look, just go. I'm not showing you anything. <sighs> oh well, your chest is still at peace for the eyes. Miyako grumbled as she left. I love her. Wait, Miyako. What is it? Why are you chasing after me? You love all, for love of the all is good and dear. <laughs> Please give me back my underwear. I did take off my panties and put them in the bin for you. What the hell am I supposed to do with those? I hope maybe that'll be your fetish. Not a chance. Give them back. Then maybe take them by force. Alright then, by force it is. Please tell me they're still in your hands. I've already equipped them, so please, tear them from me. What is wrong with you? You could have just worn mine. I'm... But if I got to choose, I'd probably just wear them on your face. Damn it. I can't wait my make wisecracks fast enough. Miyako, you're a pervert. Only because of you, Yamato. Don't push that on me. Now strip. I'd love to. She didn't waste a second. Whoa. I quickly turned around. For how long I enjoyed her advances. She hadn't seemed this way at first. She just, she just been the subject of bullying. A long time ago, in elementary school. Whoa, is she there? Mommy said her mommy's a pr prostitute. She was gonna die of an STD. That must be the Sheena virus, and she's sick too. <laughs> prostitute. Okay, we've got bullies, but it. What are you looking at me for? Um. Now you talk to her. Now you'll catch the Sheena virus. That was close. You should thank me. Hmm. <laughs> you sniveling fool. I was going through a phase. But man, she's all skin and bone. It looked like she wanted a word with you, playboy. Don't be ridiculous. I don't want to deal with her. Ah. Shina Miyako was proceeding headlong down the path of being bullied. She wouldn't talk, acting gloomy. Never had any idea what was on her mind. Nobody wanted to be with her. Kids are jerks. Most classes need someone to be the... Spell goat everyone else keeps... Everyone, everyone else picks on. Shina Miyako was that target. It all seemed to have started with some nasty gossip about her mother having an affair with a married man. At first some people had the bright idea to mince, to mince her physica physicality. Don't touch me. Miyako's father had taught her martial arts and she was strong for her size. So the bullying became more like ranged targets in the form of teasing. Miyako acted like it didn't bother her, which of course only made things worse. Come to think of it, she would always come to school barefoot. One of the teachers proudly proclaimed, Bullying? Hmm. <laughs> At our school, we use bullied badge the bully badge system. As soon as being bullied can wear a special badge on their chest so teachers can help. Since we started the program, not so, not one child has worn a badge, which proves we have no bullying. In another classroom? Yeah, you're just trying to wear that badge, and you'll see what happens to you. Got it? I won't. The badges were, unsurprisingly, never used. 
With items like this, no wonder bullying was rampant. Back then, Miyaki was skinny and lifeless. But now, we rescued her and made her our friend. Here you go. She has somehow grown beyond everyone's expectations. Huh? Were you captivated by my body? I was thinking about how much you've grown since we were kids. That's what Arden loves. That's what Arden love does to woman. My body answered my soul. Love me that much over that. You saved me, Yamato. What better reason could there be? Miyako, I told you this so many times. I may have saved you. We shouldn't let that weigh on your decision so much. It's a big world out there. Filled with men who'd, be who'd be better than m I can't imagine with being any with anyone other than you. Oof. Only you. You're the one for me. It's strange. I'm falling more and more in love with you. Miyako, you're coming on too strong for me. All love is strong. Here, feel how hard my chest is pounding. She took my hand and pressed it firmly against her breast. All to tempt me, I was sure. Now get out of the bathroom. I made it through another day. I'd be lying if I, were, if I said she wasn't sexy. And despite the gossip I'd heard about her mother, she had feelings only for me. In other words, I feel even once yield to the temptation, while well, waited was rapturous hours of love. Love that wouldn't end until death do his part. To force the temptation was to accept the weight of, the weight of her heart. I couldn't let myself forget that. So that being said though, I'm assuming now we pretty much have to be building our bonds with Miyako. I'm going to try with Miyako more than the other characters, I think. She always was the one who made me laugh more. So, without further ado, I am going to be ending this episode here. If you guys enjoyed it so far, I hope you leave a like on it. It really helps me out. That being said, though, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. And thank you for watching.